Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bill Corum in the Yankee Stadium. And Theater Network Television welcomes you to the Rocky Marciano Archie Moore fight for the world's heavyweight championship. Some fighters are being introduced from the ring, and we will try to talk over them just a little bit in order to give you uh, the facts of this fight. There are about 60,000 people here tonight and probably a million dollars in the gate. And now I'll let you pick up the introduction from Johnny Addy. Featherweight from Philadelphia, Henry Toothpick Brown. Former heavyweight champion of the world, popular Maxie Bear. Former lightweight champion of the world, Lou Ambers. Leading heavyweight contender, Nino Valdez. Here's one of the all-time great champions, former welterweight, middleweight champion, who met all the leading heavyweights in his time, the toy bulldog, Mickey Walker. The featherweight champion of the world, Sandy Sadler. Welter middleweight champion of California, Willie Vaughn. Also in the audience, former welterweight champion of the world, one of the gamest in the welterweight division, Tony DiMarco. Former heavyweight champion of the world, Cinderella man, Jimmy Braddock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest of all time will attempt to win the middleweight crown on November the 4th in Chicago, Illinois, the one and only Sugar Ray Robinson. Here's the hard punching heavyweight from Chicago, Bob Satterfield. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure to introduce former heavyweight king, the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. And one of the most popular of all heavyweight champions, the one and only Manasseh Muller, Jack Dempsey. Uh, the gloves always in a heavyweight championship match are put on in the ring, as you know, and neither fighter has got the gloves on. Incidentally, Moore, the challenger here, and the lightweight champion, whose title, it's only Marciano's title at stake, as you know, tapes his own hands. And here are the figures on the fighters. Marciano is five feet, 11 and a half inches tall. Weighed for this fight 184 and a quarter. That was yesterday. He might weigh more tonight. They didn't weigh again. The fight was postponed, as you know. Rocky is 31, has never been defeated as a professional, has had 48 fights, winning 48, obviously, and scored 42 knockouts. Moore, 5 feet and 11, 188 pounds at the weigh-in, might be lighter tonight instead of heavier. Anyhow, that would only make a quarter of a pound, four ounces difference, the official weigh-ins and their weights. Moore, by his own official uh, statement, is 38 years old, and that's as official as you can get, I guess. And he has had 144 fights, won 120, lost 19, had five draws, and scored 82 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, main event, 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. Here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. Judges are Harold Bonds and Adi Idala. The timekeeper, George Bannon, counting for the knockdowns, Al Burrow, referee, Harry Kessler. Here are the principals, introducing from San Diego, California, and Toledo, Ohio, wearing black trunks, weighing 188 even, the light heavyweight champion of the world and challenger, Archie Moore.
more. His opponent from Brockton, Massachusetts, wearing white trunks, weighing 188 and a quarter pounds, heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. Marciano. 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. Uh, good evening, Rocky and Archie. You both know the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission, so I won't go into all the details. Protect yourself at all times. The three knockdowns in one round rule is voided tonight. The eight second uh, count is out too. If a man goes down, the man standing up goes to the farthest neutral corner and stays there until I wave him back. Uh, he doesn't have to wait for eight seconds. And when the man gets up and I get his, br his gloves brushed, well, you come back. Okay, keep your punches high. Nice fight. Well, we're ready for the question. The three knockdown thing is a New York rule, voided as the referee told you. Normally in New York, a man knocked down three times in a round is beaten, not tonight, and there's no compulsory eight count. He doesn't have to take eight, he can get up at two or one. If that explains that to you any better, we're waiting for the bell for round one. The boys are jiggling in their corners. The crowd is roaring, the bell, here they go. Two minutes until the end of the first round. One minute till the end of the round. Not too much has happened. Ten seconds. And there's the bell. We watch Barciano go back to his corner, and you see him, of course, better than we do for the moment, until his seconds get around him. Incidentally, his seconds over there are his manager, Al Weil, 
Charlie Goldman, his trainer, wonderful little guy and great trainer, and his long-time, lifelong friend, Al Colombo from Brockton. And in Moore's Corner, only three seconds permitted here tonight in the corners is Cheerful Norman, Charlie Johnson, his manager, and Bertie Briscoe, his trainer. So, as I said, there has been very little exciting action so far. Marciano got in a couple of light left hooks and Moore won pretty good right. The boys were very careful, particularly Moore. He didn't seem to be nervous or anything. Why should he be? He's fought all, all over the world, a fighter from everywhere, Australia, South America, all over this country. And he seems calm enough, and certainly, of course, the champion always is. Round two. Count was four. <laughs> Two minutes until the end of the round. Champions in trouble. Bleeding from the nose now. One minute to the end of the round. Rocky's still shaky a little. Moore is showing he knows how to fight. That's for sure. Landing well inside, got Marciano's eye puffed. 10 seconds till the end of the round. Marciano's fighting for his championship, his championship life. And the bell, and to Marciano's corner. You can see, perhaps, that the uh, Rocky was pretty well mussed up. I know you don't see the blood very well. He's bleeding pretty good from the nose and also from under his left eye. It was a right hand, a beautiful right hand shot that knocked him down in mid ring. A clean right hand after a left hand feint and he took the count of four. That reminded me of the Walcott fight in which uh, Marciano was knocked down in the first round of course and then came on to win in the 13th as he very well made this time. But as it stands now, uh, Moore is the aggressor, and certainly that was a great round for the old challenger. He came back to his corner looking tired. You see that blanket over his shoulders, but uh, whether he was tired or not, or just uh, taking his time, it's hard to say. Round three.
Moore's a trickster, but 15 rounds are long. Rocky's left eye cut again. Marciano, Marciano blinking. Left eye. One minute till the end of the round. Good right hand by Marciano. Archie's on the defensive now. Ten seconds until the end of the round. The champion coming on. Although Marciano went back to his corner, blinking his eye pretty badly, he finished that round very strong. And he started his comeback, which of course was the third round, as you know, the fourth round card being before you. He started his comeback with a solid left hook just over our heads here, and then crossed his right. And for a minute, it looked as if Moore might have been hurt. He didn't show too much sign of it, but he covered up and slipped away from there. But again, at the end of the round, Marciano landed a good left. Now we switched over to his corner, as you see. They're working on that eye. You can't see that much. Uh, and you have to peek in between. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad cut. We're waiting for round four. It's very exciting. The last round was a dandy. And of course, the knockdown was a thriller on Moore's part. And it's very much of a fight. Those corners are a bad place for a man to be with Marciano. Moore got out. Powerful right by Marciano. Rocking, but Archie's fighting back. They're both a little rocky. Perfect right, just, just grazed the chin.
One minute till the end of the round. Moore is just rocking, just rocking and weaving, but he's not too badly hurt yet. Moore, Moore came out of it with a great left hook. He's making Barciano miss and miss. Miss and miss. Rocky looks tired too now. Moore just stood there and made him miss. Made him miss. Ten seconds till the end of the round. <coughs> the punch after the bell, we follow Marciano to his corner. He's a rocky. He went halfway out to the center of the ring and went back with a kind of a sick smile on his face. The punch right after the bell, uh, not a very powerful one, but it hit right on the sort of the Adam's apple and the throat, and it might have hurt pretty badly. However, as you saw, Marciano was a tired champion. Weaving and bobbing and sliding and slipping, made him miss punch after punch after punch, and Marciano at the finish was just shoving his gloves out. He was, he was really a weary fellow. Now we're back uh, in Archie's corner. He's talking very brightly to his seconds, kind of smiling at cheerful Norman. And at the moment, he definitely is in command of this fight, although there have been two or three surges by the champion. This is round five coming up, and this is it. We're out boxing him. More trying to keep him off of that left jab and doing a pretty good job of it too. Very elusive, Archie, so far. One minute. trying to cock that right hand. Watch the head, watch the head. <laughs> that blood again from Marciano's nose. Ten seconds.
so now. We're coming up to round six, and uh, it's a good prize fight. And certainly it's a long, long way from over, as you know. Moore doesn't seem to be uh, worried about being in those corners, but uh, it's still not a good place for him. He got out. but he's in bad shape. Or still got that left hand pretty good. One minute till the end of the round. Another right by Rocky. This could be the end. Now he's really touching him. Moore's legs are gone. It's just his instinct. Just his instinct. Maybe the bell. Now he punches back. Now he punches back. Now he punches back. He's taking an awful beating. Look at his leg. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Thirty seconds. 20 seconds. Oh, his legs are gone. He's down again. Seconds. Six, seven, nine, he got two, nine, ten seconds, ten seconds, ten seconds. As the bell, he made it on his feet. Look at him going back. Here goes Dr. Nardiello in the Morris corner. Fight could be decided right here. Whether he lets him come out or not, we won't know. A right hand started it. He took a five count. And then Marciano came for him and bombarded him. They're calling it an official four count. The same thing that Marciano took in the second round. I thought it was five, but they say officially he took four from the right hand. A right hand, and then from then on, then in the corner when he went down the second time to take the nine, it was just a series of punches of all kinds, but a right hand was the finishing blow as I saw it, or the one that sent him to his knees. Round seven. Very arm weary, Marciano.
Two great right hands by Moore and a great comeback from that last round. Now it's, now it's Marciano who is rocking. Marciano is the one in trouble. A little less than two minutes in the round. Marciano is missing badly in this round. I said he was arm weary. I think he is. Doesn't mean he still can't punch. He can. And he did. No knockdown. No knockdown. No knockdown. I'm sorry, it slipped. Thought that was awful sharp punch. One minute. Whatever else happens, Moore has shown great recuperative powers. You wouldn't have believed it. He's the aggressor again, or he has been. Toe-to-toe -to -toe in Moore's corner. Moore trying to fight out. Looks like his legs are planted. Ten seconds. They're throwing about all they got. And the bell. Moore again, just his legs. Look at him. He, his legs just about went at the bell. He almost fell. What, what a game old fella he is, 38 or 40 or whatever. A great round, a great comeback round for him. He definitely won it if you want one sports writer's viewpoint, certainly unofficial. But he came back from a near knockout to fight a great round under any circumstance, however you might have wished to score it. And the fight is still not over. Both fighters have been down, or has been down twice, once for four, once for nine. Marciano was down in the second round. You saw all this, but we're now coming up to eight. That turns the hill of the 15 rounds. There's no doubt both fighters are tired. No doubt. And they should be. Round eight. Moore's right eye is beginning to close. I'm sure you can't see that. For a time, it was the left eye of Marciano that was bad, but now Moore's right eye is closing. That, of course, makes him a bit of a target for a left hook. Puncher and boxer. <coughs> I think the end is getting close. Nobody could be sure. Moore is terribly tired on that rope.
Marciano's trying to put over the convincer. He's missing. And both of them throwing blows that might finish it. Of course, Rocky's stronger. Those punches are not landing solidly. If they were, somebody'd have to go. 20 seconds. Moore fought his way out of the corner. That eye is bad now. Rocky's still chasing him. The bull in the Toreador, and the bull keeps coming. 10 seconds. Right hand. Right hand. Right hand. The bell saved him. The bell saved him. The bell saved him. They don't know. I hope you got that from me. Maybe I did you a little good. The referee didn't know. Nobody knew. But the bell saved him at six. Here goes the doctor again. That was the right hand. And the bell rang at six. The referee says seven, but I know six that time. Anyhow, we won't argue with him. It makes no difference. The doctor is going now to talk to referee Kessler, and uh, it could be that the fight will be stopped. I still can't tell any more than you can. You can see what's happening in that conference over in the corner with the referee. The doctor, Martiello, is coming back. Uh, sits down here alongside us. They're going to go again. Marciano, so strong, so durable. What right hand? Everything on Moore, too. Moore could punch with him. If Moore had the punch, what a fight this would be, and what a fight it is, anyhow. Just a bombardment. Moore's legs are so, so nearly gone. He's not punching back at all now. Now he is. Oh, a good right hand by Moore. A beauty, just not to steam on. There he goes, in his own corner. That's all. That's all. The time, one minute, 19 seconds of the ninth round. Winner by a knockout and still heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. <laughs> Rocky, congratulations. Oh, Bill. What kind of a fight was this one, Rock? Archie's a very tough, willing, determined fighter. I didn't think that he would stand up like he did. Congratulations to him. I guess he wasn't just talking up there at North Adams, Mass. No, he wasn't. He fought a great fight, didn't he? And of course you did too, as always, Rocky. This is 49 straight, and I know you're going to go for that uh, golden 50 for sure because you never look better, and uh, you really were punching, and you're a great champion. Great credit to Thank this country. Thank you very much. I know the kind of fellow you are and everybody else. Now, here's Archie. We'll put them together. So, this is a great, great fight. And uh, let's turn around here, Archie, the TV people, huh? The Internet network television. You saw this man make a great fight. Bob Tell Helfrey. them about it, Archie. Bob Helfrey. I did the best I could. Uh, Rocket's a great puncher. 
What do you uh, think of me? I think he's a great puncher. He's got a long way to go. He'll make it, though. Yeah. He's determined and everything. He's a great puncher, isn't he? Yes, he is. And uh, your legs kind of gave out on you, little Archie, didn't he? <laughs> no, I mean, he hit me quite a few times and put me on queer speed. But what did you find the most trouble with, the right hand? Well, both he punches the heart with both hands. Just the same, well, huh? I enjoyed fighting, though. I, you enjoyed I'm it? I'm sure that the people in TV land yeah. and radio yeah. enjoyed the fight because yeah. I had always said... Well, they did, and you made it. Fight. You made it before the fight and since, and congratulations. It was a fine fight, Archie. And uh, while he said he enjoyed it, I assure you I wouldn't have. I don't think any of you would have enjoyed taking that beating that he took at punching, but he fought well all the way through and clear to the end, and in his own corner, he just couldn't get up again at 10. You all saw it. It was a great fight, a great fight for the heavyweight championship for promoter Jim Norris, who ran one of the best shows I think it's ever been run in boxing anywhere. Clean all the way, not a low punch, not a complaint. The better man won, a great champion, the Brockman blockbuster he is. A great fighter and one that's going to be champion a long time, it looks like. All congratulations to him and to a game challenger and a great old guy, the old fighter from everywhere, Archie Moore. We were glad to have you in these theaters. Theater Network Television hopes to bring you some more great fights in the future. Nate Halpern is very pleased with the fight we had. We all are, and we hope you were. Hope you had a good time. See you again soon. Good night.